What is up everybody, Lucas here back with a video and today I'm gonna to be talking about the only exercises you should be doing in order to build the foundation of strength and muscle and be lean and be able to just have an overall well-developed physique because it's much simpler than a lot of people think. First, we gotta talk about the two categories of exercises. Every exercise can be categorized into these two different categories, and they are isolation exercises and compound exercises. Isolation exercises are thing, exercises that move in one plane of motion. They only work one muscle group. An example would be a preacher curl, where you're on a bench, right? A preacher bench, you're curling, you're isolating just the biceps. The compound exercises work multiple muscle groups and often move in multiple planes of motion. So an example would be your squat. You work your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings, even your core is contracted and stimulated because you're stabilizing the weight up top. That's the difference between the two. We're gonna focus on the compound exercises. Simple, big movements to develop dynamic strength. That is the key to developing your foundation. Why do compound exercises over isolation exercises? One, because you're simply able to do more work. You can do a heavier workload and train heavy like you're supposed to doing something like a squat where you can lift a lot of weight rather than doing a leg extension where you're just isolating your quads, you simply can't lift as much weight or do as much work. That's why everybody does so much high rep work doing isolation exercises. And that leads to overtraining, which is another reason. You're less likely to overtrain doing a compound exercise because you're gonna hit failure before your muscles reach that point of being overtrained. Unless you're just doing a ridiculous amount of reps on squats, you're not gonna have to worry about it. Whereas if you're doing what's typically a high rep exercise, on like leg extension, you're just gonna burn out your muscles so much and they're not gonna be able to recover properly. So you're more likely to overtrain doing isolation exercises. Not to mention that you're probably gonna go do like three or four more quad exercises on top of that. So those are really the main reasons. There's a couple more. Um, doing compound movements are typically with free weights. Not all of them, a leg press is a compound movement but it's not uh, using free weights. Most compound movements use free weights though. You're gonna be able to develop your stabilization muscles a lot better, so, and you're gonna stay balanced. I isolation exercises tend to lead to imbalances because you're just not doing equal amounts of work on every single muscle group, whereas when you are loading your weight up on your squat, you're stimulating all those muscles but they're all getting the same workload. And your core is also, like a squat, your core is also um, stimulated. So you're, you're stabilizing that weight up top. It's just gonna help you stay more balanced within your body. And then because you, do, you, you hit multiple muscle groups, you're simply stimulating the nervous system for more growth during a compound movement. Whereas when you only stimulate one muscle group, you just don't get as good of a reaction from the body as far as growth goes. So those are a few reasons why compound movements are the focus and should be the focus over isolation movements. Your muscles will not grow without a foundation. You must develop this foundation first. You can't build a skyscraper from the top down. It has to have a strong foundation. And these lifts that I'm about to give you here in a second are gonna develop that foundation so long as your main focus during your workouts are these lifts. So what are these lifts? These are the exercises you should be focusing on are your deadlifts, your squats, your pressing, and your pulling. Okay, so deadlifts and squats are kind of their categories on their own and definitely do them. They're like the two best exercises you can do. Your pressing are exercises like military and shoulder press, um, incline and flat bench press. And then your pulling are things like rows, rack pulls, face pulls, those types of exercises. 
Notice all of them pretty much use a barbell or a dumbbell or even a kettlebell maybe in some scenarios. And then you have another category of body weight exercises. Um, these would be like your pull-ups and your dips are kind of the two main ones. And you can also add weight with a weight belt on during those exercises so you can overload the muscle like you're supposed to. Those are the exercises you should focus on with maybe a few accessory movements in there. So an example of a workout I would do, say I was gonna do a leg day, you would do your squats, maybe some Romanian deadlifts to hit the hamstrings, and then even some leg press. So your three compound movements are squats, RDLs, and then leg press. And the majority of your workout should just be those three movements. You're gonna stimulate the best amount of growth you're going to be able to overload the muscles without overtraining. And then if, even if you wanted to, you could throw in like some calf raises or maybe some hamstring curls if you were lacking in those departments, but you wouldn't need to do a ridiculous amount of sets and reps. You won't need to do a ton of reps with those exercises. And that's it. It's simple. It's very simple. If you can focus on the big movements and progressively overloading the muscle, continually adding weight to make it harder, increase the intensity, you're gonna see much better results than you would if you were to go around doing every single machine 100 times um, and then not lifting any real weight. I know because I've been there, when I started out, I thought I was supposed to go to every different machine um, and do all these curls and tricep presses um, to get big arms, because I wanted big arms, and I found out later that it's much more beneficial to focus on the big lifts because you're gonna build that foundation and you're gonna stimulate more muscle growth from focusing on those big lifts. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, DM me. If you like this video, feel, please like it. I really, really appreciate it. And let me know if there's anything else y'all want to know. If you have ever have any questions, please send them my way. I would love to answer them in a video. Also, tell me what you do. Tell me your workouts down below in the comment section. All right, that's it for this one, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.